Yes, boys, welcome back to another episode of EAFC 24. Today is going to be Champs Qualifiers. I know, I think people are saying you don't have to qualify for Champs, but again, it's something for you guys to watch. I don't mind playing Qualifiers, it's quite nice and easy. And again, just something nice for you guys to watch and, you know, get you through to 6 o'clock tonight for Team of the Season. Um, you can see here we made Felix red. If you looked on my TikTok, you would have seen that I asked on TikTok who I should make red. And the person with the most comments was Felix. So we have put it on Shall Felix. And got rid of his horrible Evo background. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, a nice little addition. We finally got rid of our red pick. And I'm actually going to be streaming tonight on YouTube, on this channel right here, at about, I don't know, probably a little bit before six, maybe five, half five. Just, I might craft some player picks to start team of the season off, and then we'll have, like, open some packs, see what's come out, and things like that. So hopefully you guys can enjoy that. Um, come, you know, come join the stream. Everyone's welcome. Just don't be an idiot because I can't be bothered to deal with people being toxic or just ridiculous, if I'm being honest. But again, just come over, check the stream out and come talk to me live. I'll, I'll read your chats, everything like that, and we can check Team of the Season out together. So hopefully you guys enjoy the episode and we have four games of qualifiers to show you. And we're going to head into game one of Foot Champs. This, uh, sorry, qualifiers. Well, Foot Champs, Foot Champs qualifiers. But yeah, like I said, I will be streaming. It'll be nice to see as many of you there as possible. It'll be about, probably about half five. So I can craft some player picks to start off team of the season. Sorry, just look at this from Felix. Out, like, reverse Elastico and made a brilliant run, literally, from like, just off the halfway line to the box what a guy but yeah i will be streaming about half five so it'd be nice for you guys to come over and join me see how many people we can get in there and like i said we can check out tots together and have some fun because i know quite a few of you like my content so you'll watch me create my video tomorrow uh tonight for tomorrow's video and you know we'll just Check out Tots, have some gameplay, have a bit of fun, open some packs. And again, you can just ask me questions and things like that. You know what happens in lives. Just just come check me out. And it will be on this channel, like I said. But that finish from Essien is ridiculous, by the way. With step overs. Genuinely, I do believe. It's a weird like myth and theory. I hear no one else saying. But when you do step overs and then shoot, I think your shot is more accurate. I don't know why, but I generally just think it is. Uh, Felix gets caught there for a free kick. We take it quickly with Essien. And look at this. Bang! What a finish, Essien. That was ridiculous. That, like, that strike was nasty. Like, fair play to Essien, mate, because that strike was ridiculous. And you guys know that I did used to have been, I don't know how many of you watched me that long, but I used to have Stanley when she was 89, and I absolutely loved her card. This is like when the promo was out. I absolutely loved the card. And I SBC'd her because I didn't think she was getting any upgrades. And by the time she got upgrades, it was close to the team of the season, and I didn't think she'd be very usable. But I've got her again, and she is incredible, so I'm really enjoying her. We give the penalty here to Van der Sar, and he got a red. And Van der Sar said to me before the game, if I ever score a goal, I need to hit the gritty. So you don't call me toxic, because that's what Van der Sar wanted. So I can't disobey him. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a corner here in uh, about 67th minute. And you know we're looking for Essien. We're looking for another good goal here. We actually pass it on one more to Felix, who's just going to score a uh, ridiculous goal himself so yeah this guy was pretty terrible he had evo bobby Moore. like what do you expect six nil in 73 minutes it's quite bad for him isn't it but salah's got a bit of space so's janola 
bit of oh, what is with the the power shot? Um, what's it called? Rainbow flick power shots. With we're, we're loving them. We're pulling all, all of them out, every angle. And then look, Jano's got a bit of space. Step over's past him. See you later, Bobby Moore. Good luck, mate. See you later as well. And look at that, bang. I'm saying look at that like it's impressive. He literally probably about six years old. Or he plays the game about an hour a week. So I do feel a bit bad for him. He had a decent team though. Like, Evo Bobby Moore's not the one. But other than that, it's not bad. Look, Bobby Moore, what are you doing, mate? And Drogba has a shot. Misses. Salah misses. Drogba, third time's the charm. Don't know how Salah's missed that one, but goal's a goal. We'll take it. Let's hope he doesn't do that in any important games. Uh, I accidentally skipped this guy's team. I do apologise. It was about half twelve in the night when I was doing this. Because I wasn't sure if I needed to qualify or not. Because people were saying that you don't. But I was like, I'm going to do it for the video anyway. So I decided to play these quite late. Just grabbed the four wins and bounced. And it's just a couple extra packs really, isn't it? Couple tradable packs. Could pull ourselves something. You never know. Stanway driving, Drogba receives, he's just going to take his time, bit of R1 dribbling. Got Cafu, can he whip one? No, he's going to take his time and Janola is there for, yeah, I know it's a byline goal but I don't really score him so you can allow me. Just one, just one byline goal guys, please. But that was the 70th minute and we're not going to cut the clip because I think you know what's going to happen next. There's another goal somewhere. Carlos nicks in there. Jao Felix, James, I don't know what I was trying to do there. I wasn't going to get past James at that. But he's playing quite shaky at the back. Felix pinches it again. He's got a bit of space, sends James. And we'll just slowly drive into the box. Step overs past his man. Ginola's there. Golazo. Decent little finish. Little Suarez celebration. I was just spamming. I scored so many goals last night. I was just spamming the stick and... Holding and pressing random buttons to see what celebrations I could get him to do. And we're not actually going to cut the clip again. And it's probably going to be another indicator why. We got Cafu with an interception through to Salah. Here you can see Drogba just drop off. Just a cheeky ball roll. And then just R1 dribble around the keeper. It's so easy. If you R1 dribble around the keeper, it is a free goal. They just sit down. They don't even attempt to go for the ball. I don't know why, I don't know how they've coded or why they've coded them like that, but that's what happens, so I'm to, honestly, EA's got such a bad game this year, I'm not surprised. But we've cut to about the 80th minute, Werner's try, oh, Bowen sorry, has tried to bring down Felix, hasn't worked and Salah's gone. James is a bit shattered, so he's not going to catch up to him. We're going to R1 dribble, look, R1 dribble around the keeper, look how simple it is. And... Pot the Marcus Rashford celebration. When you score, Salah doesn't do his celebration like it's like Egyptian one where he like he's like praying and he has one he's like one leg on the other. I can't explain it, but he doesn't do that celebration. I thought that was his normal celebration, but apparently not. Roberto Carlos toying with the goalkeeper. Gonna try Travella. James took it on the chin. And Ginola with probably one of the worst shots I've ever seen from an open net. But we win 5-0, so that's all that matters. And now we come up against a uh, a Rangers fan who's got Tavernier Evo, looks pretty nice. Uh, Steve McManaman, Prince, Donnie's like that, but we're going to school this guy as well. We scored way too many goals last night. Look, here we go. This game is going to be over within minutes. Cafu, interception, Essien, straight to Ginola. Step over, sprint boost to get right there. Drogba on one more. Felix got time near post. That's a goal. Two minutes, 12 on the clock. That is 1-0. He's tried to play a ball out there. McManaman's just won the header over Salah. Salah wasn't having it. Intercepts it. Drogba is there. Ginola is also there. He's dragged everyone out. That is 2-0 in, f call it four minutes. Uh, cheeky celebration. And that is genuinely going to be enough for this guy to quit he did not want the smoke didn't want it so that is three and oh now we go for four tottenham semi tottenham pass present couple tottenham cards like lineker and 
Vertonghen and Lloris, but not much other than that. But still, there's the thought that counts. He's still using Vertonghen. He's not meta. You know what I mean? But Drogba goes around to say, told, look, lads, if you do not R1 dribble around the keeper, you're missing out because you're losing out on so many goal-scoring opportunities. I'm telling you. This game was quite a slow one. He wasn't really pressing me. He was kind of just sitting back. So I kind of had to take risks like that with Cafu. Try just to sprint forward. And then, yeah. Less said about that goal, the better. Because, wow. Genuinely, I didn't like Drogba at first. I hated him. I used him for like, like 30, 40 games. Despised. And I've brought him back in the team. And now all my scoring problems have gone away. He gets a stupid little cross to Lineker. He gets a goal, but he celebrated. And I was like, yeah, it's done for you. I hate when people celebrate on me. I can't lie. But then I celebrate on people. It's weird. I can give it, but I can't take it. But we're doing little practice corners with Drogba. You know, locking on. Drogba misses wildly. So it's not too bad because Janola's just going to... Kung Fu kick it in the back of the net, I'm guessing. Don't know what the inspiration was for that. So we're going to chuck a celebration on his head top as well. Because I do not appreciate being celebrated on by this idiot who didn't even give me any threat in the game at all. Cheeky foul then from Roberto Carlos. We've brung on Timo Werner and anyone else? Kimmich, I believe. Drogba though, he's got a bit of space. So does Janola. Finds a great pass. And Janola makes it 4-1. Another celebration. You know, waste his time. Take as long of time as we can. And that will be 4-1. And we're not even cutting the clip because... Yeah, I went demon on this kid. Janola. Ball get intercepted. He's going to have an attack now with George Best. We're just going to sit back, cover for Delict, and then push in once Delict has got back into position. Cafu is just going to wait for an option. We're just toying with him here. Toying, toying. Delict to Essien. Look, great bit of football. Timo sends his Roberto Carlos. Drogba, step overs. See you later, centre-back. Drogba's got the legs on him. And Ginola's there for a P-roller of a tap-in. And that concludes a hat-trick for David Ginola. He will claim the match ball. And Peaceway FC... Uh, will be piecing on out of here, should I say. No, he wants to stay. He decided, oh, he hit me with a gritty, I'm staying. So, yes, he did decide to stay the whole entire game. As you can see, look, he's just passed around the back. We're in the 90th minute now. This is literally all he did, was just pass it around the back for 30 minutes. But that ended the gameplay. We claimed our four win rewards. Got a couple packs. We can't open. We have a few packs, say, for team of the season. So we obviously cannot claim. Uh, we That 50k pack from Marquee Matchups, by the way. And then we went and claimed a the daily challenge. It's like the team of the season daily challenge thing. We get a rare Electrum pack for tradable. So we have all the Marquee Matchups packs and, all, and that challenge pack to crack open for ourselves today to end off today's video anyway we're going to discard everything apart from contracts and chemistry styles because we're running low on contracts like i've got like 10 it's bad because i used to just keep all the tradable ones and when i was desperate for coins i just discard my contracts i discarded like three four hundred and now i'm struggling so yeah not ideal oh oh my god we just packed mbappe lads definitely not in team of the week and it's definitely not going to be Colin Mwani who is doing my head in at the minute because I just see him everywhere in people's teams oh for birthday Colin Mwani so good no he's not I don't have him but I've used him on other accounts like friends accounts and he's not it bro trust me he's not it Drogba is clear if you pack Drogba don't drop him for Colin Mwani because Drogba's 10 times better who wants anticipate on a cent uh, a striker? Sorry, like it's just a waste of a playstyle. 
And I swear he's got long throw as well, which, again, is another waste of a play style. But EA can't give away nice things for free. We know that. We actually packed Bruno Fernandes from this pack. I think it was like a guaranteed 80 plus or 81 plus. I'm not too sure, but we have chucked him up there for now. We've kept 83s just because we are running a little bit low. And during tots, there's going to be a lot of packs for 83 pluses, I believe, anyway. Well, I would say so. Got a rare mix players pack here. I think we've got two more packs left after this one. A rare mix leaving us with an American centre back. It's going to be Sauerbrunn. Is that her name? Yep, yeah, Sauerbrunn. We keep her and Ginter and the rest. See you later. And, I mean, marquee matchups is definitely worth it. I would always, for me, I would do marquee matchups and discard every single thing. Here is the rare electrums from the daily challenge, by the way. But I would discard everything. It's This is like the only time you can make coins via in the menus. So, personally for me, I would discard all of it. Keep 84 pluses if you need them. My club's really, really dead at the minute because I haven't opened anything 84 plus. So, doing the 85 plus player picks and the eFigs 11 pack. The 8211, it's been hard because I've had no players to actually complete it with because I, um, you know, have used all of them without opening any packs. And 6.5k back from that one as well. And uh, we have, I think we only have one 85 plus player pick. I didn't want to spend too much fodder the day before uh, tots. Do pack a nice Courtois though, so we do take those. And Courtois will go and sit in the club and wait for Friday for an SBC. But that will end of today's video, us claiming Felix is red. Make sure to check out my stream and I'll see you guys tomorrow.